He's amazing. So beautiful. And loving. He does wonders. He does wonders. So forgiving. So and gracious. Ah. Oh, love and love. See his praises.
before your own age, suffered from giant fibroids. Giant fibroids that made her to appear pregnant for 12 years. Yes, we lift up all Yes, we lift up all Now I've got these hands in the hands. Now we lift up all the Just like that. Just like that. Diagnosed of kidney failure, hypertension, as well as eye conditions. The presence of the Lord. And of God, there's a huge dose of the anointing. Lifting him up again and again, falling under the power of the Holy Ghost. Man of God, let him free. Can shout, Jesus? His grace, which is able to give you an inheritance among men which are sanctified. Today, any can to their glorious and divine inheritance in Christ. Two by two, the man of God lives. Three by three, the power of the Holy Ghost.
Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord is kind. The Lord is gracious. The Lord is pure. The Lord is righteous. The Lord is true. The Lord is God forever. Amen. I want to share some important thoughts with you. And then I'll start praying for all of you around the world. And of course, including those on the large screen. How many times have you heard someone say that God said he will not share his glory with another? How many times have we been told that God, that no man shall share his glory or take his glory? And we hear those things in churches. We hear them from, you know, a lot of people. So much so, we really think that what they're saying is, is real or spiritual. But first, I'm going to show you where they got it from and what the Bible actually says. In Isaiah chapter 42, when we read from verse... Eight. God said through the prophet, I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. So we know that God actually said so. He will not give his glory to another. But then he also clarified, if you understand Isaiah's prophetic ministry and his expressions, you understand the dual communication of the same truth that he portrays in most of his prophecies. In other words, when you study the writings of Isaiah the prophet, you would see that when he says, I am the Lord, that is my name, my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images, the one that he refers to as another is also spiritually what he refers to as graven images. Which means, when he said, I will not give my glory to another, he was talking about other gods. And these other gods were represented with graven images. And the Bible says there really are no other gods. In that the, the, the idols that people worship are actually demons. Demons are behind those images. Those idols. And so when men sacrifice to these so-called gods, these idols, the Bible says the sacrifices that they offer to idols, they are offering to demons and not to God. So it's not God that's behind those idols. It's demon spirits that are behind idols. And that's the reason God says to us, do not worship idols. No, you cannot represent God with any form. You can't do that. You cannot worship something that you made with your own hands. Neither should you worship another creature. Only God deserves to be worshipped. But you see, God made us, and I want to show you something that the Bible ter tells us. So when men are concerned about 
God not wanting to share his glory with another, they have to understand exactly what the scriptures tell us. What was God's intent in his communication? In fact, I'll read another portion to you in Isaiah chapter 48 and verse number 11. Take a look at it. For my own sake, even for my own sake, will I do it. For how should my name be polluted? And I will not give my glory unto another. How do you pollute the name of God? By mixing the worship of God with idolatry. So every time he talks about not giving his glory to another, he's not referring to sharing his glory with human beings. It was always God's plan to share his glory with human beings. That was God's plan from the beginning. He always wanted to do it. Glory refers to excellence. Excellence. Being top class. Greatness. Look at what the Bible tells us when man sinned and what happened to him. In Romans chapter 3 and verse number 23, look at what the Bible says. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It was sin that brought men out of the glory of God. So when God made man, he glorified man. But when man sinned, he fell short of the glory of God. So when Jesus came, Jesus came to restore glory to man in God. And I'll show that to you in a second. So you see that that's God's plan. God wants your life glorified. You're not the weak element and weak creature of some big God somewhere who doesn't care. No, God made you for a purpose. Don't worry about how human beings describe you. Some people may find themselves in, in more fortunate positions than others and look down at you. But it doesn't matter because they didn't create you. They shouldn't determine what happens in your life. What you become is between you and God. And the first thing you have to do is discover God's plan for your life. Discover that God made you for his glory. I just showed you it was sin that brought man short of the glory of God. But let's see what Jesus said in his prayer to the Father. In St. John's Gospel chapter 17, and I'm going to read to you from verse number 24. Let's begin reading. He prays to the Father. He says, Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. This is a prayer. He's praying to the Father here. He goes on praying. Next verse. O righteous Father, the world had not known thee, but I have known thee. And these have known that thou hast sent me. He's referring to his disciples. And I have declared unto them thy name. And I will declare it that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. Wow. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Then, I want you to go to verse 21. That they all may be one. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. This is extraordinary. 
I want you to think about what Jesus is saying here. This is extraordinary. Look at the next verse. Watch now. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. That's wonderful. That's not a promise. That's a statement of fact. It's not a promise. He's saying he's done it. Look at it. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may, that they may be one, even as we are one. This is extraordinary. Imagine if you, if you never find this out, you will never live like God gave you glory. When sickness comes to your body, you will accept it because the world tells you you are unfortunate. Something terrible has happened to you. They're so sorry for you. And they'll try their best to see what they can do for you. And then where they fail, that's the limit of your life. Remember, there was a day that tuberculosis was a killer disease and there was no medication. Many, many years ago. There was a time that malaria was a killer disease and there was no answer, no medical solution. Now in medicine, they can help you if you've got tuberculosis. They can help you if you've got malaria. But when they didn't have the solution, it was a death sentence. These are still killer diseases. But because there's medication, and people can be happy and say, well, I'll take some medication, I'll be, I'll be fine. But the day before they found out how to cure it, it was the end. If you, if you suffered from it, that was the end of your life. Meaning that people live their lives according to the limitations of other men. Waiting for somebody to find out. When you come to Christ, when you know Jesus Christ, you learn to use his name. He gave you glory. Glory means health. Let me show you something. Go to the third epistle of St. John and let us read verse number two. Look at what it says. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Did you see that? He says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be healthy. That's better than even getting healed. He says, I don't want you sick. I want you healthy. Did you know that was God's plan? It was God's plan. Jesus has given you glory. Let me show this to you. You go to Romans chapter 8. And I'm going to read to you from verse 28. And we know this is after you've become a Christian and you have known Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit is in your life. Here's what he tells you, what Jesus did for you. He says, we know that all things work together for good. Meaning that when you receive Christ, when you get to know Jesus Christ, there's no such thing as a disadvantage anymore in your life. Not even one. No more disadvantages in your life. No matter the situation, no matter the condition. Think about Jesus. What was he like? When there was a storm and he was in the sea, what happened? He hushed the storm to sleep. He said, peace, be still. Think about it. He raised the dead. In fact, today I was reading another testimony. These, these are things that happen all the time. One, on, one of our pastors posted something who was carrying a little girl. What happened to the little girl? The girl died. The doctors certified her dead. So she was dead. So what's next? Go bury your daughter. That's all. And the woman said, never. 
She said, never. She said, I'm not bearing my daughter. No. And she took the rhapsody of realities, which had been given to her. And she opened the page where the healing streams was advertised. She put it on her daughter. The girl shook and came back to life. Oh, this, this happens all the time. So many, so many such testimonies. How many can I tell you? That was just today that I saw that one. Think about it. Because with God, the Bible says, and from the lips of Jesus, nothing is impossible. He says, anything is possible. He confirmed the words of the angel. The angel said, with God, nothing shall be impossible. Jesus said, if you believe, anything is possible. Anything. Anything. So, now that you're in Christ, now that you believe in Jesus Christ, there's no such thing as impossible to you. There's no such thing as a disadvantage to you. I'm not through reading. Let's go back to that verse because I've got to show it, show it to you. In verse 28, Romans chapter 8. And we know that all things. Did you notice the language? It says we know. Not we speculate. Not we assume. Not we think. We know. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are the called according to his purpose. Do you realize that in Christ you're called according to his purpose? Refuse to be sick anymore. As a Christian, you use the name of Jesus. I already shared that with you day before yesterday. He says, use the name, whatever you do in word or deed. He says, do in the name of Jesus Christ. If symptoms come to your body, you say, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the pain. I rebuke the infirmity. It will bow to your words. Let's keep reading. Verse 28. Look at it. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow. I like this. For whom he did foreknow. Did God know you before you were born? Emphatically, yes. If he is God, he should. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, Oh, I read your scripture. Listen, you were predestinated in Christ Jesus to be conformed to the image of his son. That means to become like Jesus. It's in the book. Go to first epistle of St. John chapter 4 and verse number 17. Look at it. Herein is our love made in this world. Not when we get to heaven. You know, when we talk about the day of judgment is coming, there are people who are scared because they live in sin, because they're not pleasing God. But we, in Christ, we have boldness for the day of judgment. That's what he's saying. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. We were conformed to the image of his son. Go back to it. Romans 8.29. For whom he did for know, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Wonderful. He's saying Jesus is your brother. Can you see that? So Jesus is, is the firstborn. Joint heirs together with him. Hallelujah. Remarkable, remarkable. Just, just an addition for you, so you can you 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 can want to study it later on for you. Come, God's firstborn. You see, when He died, He died because He had become sin for us. The Bible says our sins were laid on Him, and so He was the representative of all sinners. So He died and went to hell. In our place. 
But when he fulfilled the righteous demands of justice, God raised him from the dead. And when he was raised from the dead, God's prophetic words were, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. That was when Jesus was born again. You see, he was born from death. That's what the Bible says. And that's why he says every one of us must be born again. Why? Because when you were born into this world, you were born in sin. The sin came from Adam back in the garden. Adam the first. That's where sin came from. And everybody that was born into this world from the fallen Adam was born in sin. So Jesus said you must be born again. And so when Jesus took our sins upon himself, he died in the spirit. Spiritual death is separation from God. That's why on the cross he cried out, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The Bible says because he was made sin in our behalf. So he went to hell. But God raised him from the dead because he paid the full penalty for our sins. And when he was raised from the dead, the Bible says he was raised for our justice. That means we are now declared righteous because all your sins were paid for in Jesus Christ. That's extraordinary. But that's the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what it means. He paid the full penalty for your sins. Everything that was ever wrong with you, that could ever go wrong with you, he already paid. You don't need to pay any more for your sins. And what he paid was enough. It was enough. It was adequate. Just have a friend. Tune in. Because they are teaching a lot of things from the Bible to help. God. Know it for yourself and find out if what I'm sharing with you is true or not. And the Holy Spirit will be there to open your mind and show it to you. What has happened to many Christians for many, many years? Is that most were never taught the word of God. They kept their Bible. They were waiting for the priest to explain to them. And they never went back to read and find out whether what they heard was actually so in the book. That's the reason I read the scripture to you and I display them. So that you can see them for yourself and know the truth. Jesus said, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. That's important. We're not done yet. Go back to that verse 29. For whom he did for now, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Look at verse 30. It's so beautiful. Look at it. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. That's talking about us. You read the whole context. And whom he called, them he also justified. I just told you about justification when Jesus was raised from the dead. Oh, I can show that to you. You go to Romans chapter 4. Let's begin reading from verse 20. Romans chapter 4 from verse 24. But for us also whom it shall be imputed if we believe on him that raised up Jesus our Lord from the who was delivered. That means delivered to death for our offenses. Jesus was delivered to death because of our You see, he was raised for our justification. Look at Romans chapter 5 verse 1. Look at what it says. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now that we are justified by faith, it says we are at peace with God. We are in friendship with him now. God is no longer angry at us. He doesn't look at us as sinners. He looks at us through Jesus Christ. We are justified. Justified means declared righteous. Declared righteous. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. 
So go back to Romans chapter 8, verse 30. Look what he says. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. So we are justified. Look at it. So we are predestinated. We are called. We are justified. Look at the next thing. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Glorified. You know, many, many, many Christians have believed that God called us. They have believed that they were justified. But not many read this place to know that not only were we justified, we were glorified. You are not trying to take glory from God. He gave you glory. He gave it to you. And every day of your life, thank him. Glory. Glory. Now your life, in your health, in your job, in your finances, in your family, you're glorified. Is let him stupid. No, you stand straight and you thank God for your life. Every day, God for my life. I am glorified. And the pains are leaving you right now. The dominion of sin and darkness and sickness is broken from your life. The dominion of demons over your life is gone in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, there's joy in your home. There's joy in your life. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are restored to God's glory. You are restored to God's glory. As he is, so are we in this world. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. And as I get ready to speak words of health. As I'm already doing now. I'm going to minister to those on the screen. And it won't take me long. And then I start ministering to you all around the world. And praying for your families. And for your nation. Hallelujah. 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 Let's do this song. Ultimate authority. Oh thank you Lord Jesus.
The presence of the Lord is. The presence of the Lord is in the east. Kami from Australia, breast cancer. Kami, are you ready? This is your moment. You raise your hand. Kami, Australia. With breast cancer. Good. Good. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command the cancer to die and every trace of it to pass out of your body from this moment. Receive strength and be healed. Behold of thy plague. In Jesus' name, you're free. Sheila, South Africa, with breast cancer. 
Shila, I bring you healing. In the name of Jesus. I'm not sure that Sheila can respond to her pictures. Yeah. Adida Poland, severe depression. Those tormenting spirits are leaving you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you're free. They're gone from you. They're gone from you. Jesus makes you well. Jesus is your hope. Jesus is your life. Jesus is your strength. So carry on in life. You're free in Jesus' name. Helen, Canada, advanced stage of pancreatic cancer. Now, the man beside Helen, can you put your hand? over her stomach region put your hand there for her yes in the name of the lord jesus i command the cancer to die come out of helen's body come out of her in jesus name and return to her no more I bring strength to you, health to you, soundness of mind and body. In Jesus' name, it's done unto you. It's done unto you. It's done unto you. Hallelujah. Meda and we am from Iraq. Meda suffering from juvenile sclerosis. And we am fibromyalgia they're gone from both of you they're gone in jesus name those devils are gone from you and you're free in jesus name you're free you're free hallelujah katendi zambia humerus distal fracture stiff elbow in the name of the lord jesus the power of god goes through your body from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet you're free in Jesus' name. It's done unto you. It's done unto you, Katenda. To Port Vila. Cancer of the earners. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command the cancer to die. Yes, you're free. All right, Sheila is back. Sheila, South Africa. That's it. I bring you health. Be here. Be free. Be whole of thy plague. In Jesus' name. Sheila, that's you. That's your moment, so get up. Patrick. Patrick, I would have given Nigeria. Partial stroke, diabetes, and slow speech. Put your hand under your jaw. Put your hand under your jaw. Put your hand under your jaw. Patrick, put your hand under your jaw. Under your jaw. Good. You're healed. Patrick, you're healed. You're healed. It's gone from you. You're free. That devil is gone. I feel his mighty power. I see the glory of his majesty. Anderson. Yes, it's your moment. It's your moment. Put your hand over your chest. Goes through your body to make you whole. 
thou spirit of infirmity come out of anger come out of him in Jesus name and return to him no more Anderson you are free of all your infirmities you are healed in Jesus. you're free it's gone it's all gone it's all gone you're here Anna in Poland advanced ovarian cancer I demanded devil out of your body Anna in the name of Jesus Christ be here the cancer dies and leaves your body now that devil is gone from you in the name of Jesus Christ you are free hallelujah Barbara Heart arrhythmia. Yes. Good. In the name Barbara, you're free. That infirmity is gone. That devil is gone. You're free in Jesus' name. But, hallelujah. It's done. It's done. It's done. Hallelujah. Yes, we leave. Evgenieva abandoned from Uzbek. His vision over be cleared right away drop your hand over your eyes that blind Finland can you lay your hands on his head lay your hands on his head both hands put both hands good Precious Lord Jesus, this man suffered a long time. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring restoration to his mind. Restoration to his mind. In the name of Jesus, our devil of darkness, you come out of his body, come out of his brain, get out of him, and return to him no more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It's done. 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 Parkinson's disease. Carolyn. I command that devil to come out of your body. Our spirit of darkness, you come out of Caroline's body. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Her go. Woman, you're free. You're free. You're free. Go ahead and praise God. Go ahead. Mahosa, USA. Renard syndrome. Scoliosis, long damage. Take a deep breath. Take a deep out. In and out. One more time. In and out. That devil is gone from you. You're free. In Jesus' name, you're free. You're free. It's gone. Pet. Enlarged thyroid gland and goida. I command the goida to die in the name of Jesus. Free, be whole of thy plague in Jesus' name. And the headaches are gone. They're gone from you. Name. Hallelujah. Andreja from Slovenia. 
psychiatric problem Andrea in the name of Jesus Christ I bring you health and restoration I bring you health and restoration go back to normal in the name of Jesus and those demons will not trouble you anymore they are out there and your ears are gone in Jesus name you are free you're free praise your Samira in Germany severe back pain and demonic oppression the demons are gone from you Praise God, hallelujah. Omisha, USA. Hydrodenitis, hydrodenitis. And uh, cysts in the ovaries. Recurring boils. Be cleansed in Jesus' name. Be cleansed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be cleansed. That unclean spirit leaves you now in Jesus name it's out of your body and you are made whole you're free you're free you're free hallelujah Lige Elena from Uzbekistan gastrointestinal tract osteochondrosis of the thoracic vertebrae okay in the name of Jesus woman the power of God is going through your body it's going through your body through your body and that devil is gone from you and that devil of pain is gone from you and you're free you are healed in Jesus mighty you are healed you are healed that's the power of God you are healed Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mary from Norway. Breast cancer. The cancer is dead. 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 And I rebuke the pains. In the name of Jesus, be free. Be whole of thy plague. Mary, you give God praise. Thank Him. Thank Him. He's healed you. Fanush from Iraq. God loves you the confusion is gone in the name of Jesus the confusion is gone it is gone and the love of Christ is made manifest to you I bring you health soundness of mind and body in the name of Jesus and remember there's hope in Christ Jesus God loves you God loves you hallelujah Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ariela, United Kingdom. Autism and speech delays. Put your hand on her forehead. Put your hand. Oh, it's gone in Jesus' name. It's gone. She's restored. It's gone. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Ganbol from Mongolia. In the name of Jesus, I bring health to you, your heart, your blood vessels. In the name of Jesus, be healed, be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed. And your back is healed as well. You're free. You're free in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Rosa. Fibroids and anemia. That devil is out in the name of Jesus Christ. And your body is restored.
you are Jesus. Glory, glory to God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Mando. Is resisted epilepsy, severe orders and mental gradation, cerebral palsy, etc. Thou evil spirit of darkness, come out of this child, come out of his mind, get out, get out of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Out, out, out of this girl and return to her no more your girl is healed hallelujah tell the many God's heart now the gentleman yes good good put your hand over his heart put your hand over his chest along with him Now the gentleman with Kalomani, put your hand on Kalomani's chest. Put your good, good, good. That devil of darkness is out in the name of Jesus Christ and return to him no more. I bring healing and perfection to him. Strength back to his body. He's cleansed, he's healed in Jesus' name. It's done. It's done in Jesus' name. It's done. Hallelujah. It's done. Theresa, London, spiritual attack. They're gone from you. They've left you. You're free in the name of Jesus. You are free. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're free. By the power of God, you're free. Hallelujah. Bhavaneswari, India, spiritual attacks. In the name of Jesus, I bring deliverance. Deliverance from those demons. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are free. And those devils will not trouble you anymore. You're free. You're free. It's done unto you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Atebola Anofi, Nigeria. Muscle weakness. Atebola, are you ready? This is your moment. This is your moment. Adebola, this is your moment. I bring you healing. I bring you healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Sheila, India. Neuro cancer in the name of Jesus, Sheila. I command the pains to go. Thou wicked spirit of darkness, you come out of Sheila's body, come out of her in Jesus' name, come out of her. Those pains are gone, they're gone, they're gone in Jesus' name, they're gone. Woman, you're free of your infirmities. Hallelujah. Shingirai, Zimbabwe, kidney stones. This is your moment. Shingirai, you are healed. You are healed. It's done. It's done in Jesus' name. It's done. It's done. 
George, London. You've had a stroke. I bring you health. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus brought us and that glory is for you. From this day, start living in this glory. That disease is gone from you. That devil is out of your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Be healed now. In Jesus' name. Be healed in your heart. Be healed. Be healed in your blood vessels. Be healed. It's done in Jesus' name. It's done. Jane, in Nigeria, constant headaches and blood pressure. Jane, this is your moment. This is your moment. Now, healing is for you right now. You are here. Jane, the headaches are gone. The headaches are gone. You are healed. And your are by the power of the Holy Ghost it's back to normal hallelujah Chiopolina Nefundu Namibia thyroid pain and diabetic pain joy has come to you today your health is restored in the name of Jesus Christ that devil of permits of your body in the name of Jesus Christ, you are here. You are here. Samuel from Ghana, spine injury. Yeah, I can see all that's written there about your case. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God is going through your body. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. The power of being in the name of Jesus Christ. Be here. Be here. I'm healing you. It's done. It's done. It's done, Samuel. It's done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I can feel, I can feel His mighty power. Of His majesty, the presence of the Lord. Put your hand where you need a miracle right now. Put your hand where you need a miracle. Put your hand where you need a miracle. This is your moment. You need a miracle. Nadine, Danilola, Teresa, Sandra. Put your hand where you need a miracle. Everywhere. Just put your hand there. It's a special moment right now. The power of the Holy Ghost. Wherever you are, wherever you are, no matter what the condition is, put your hand where you need a healing. I can feel His mighty power. I can see the glory of His majesty. The presence of the Lord is in this place. Put your hand there. This is your hour. This is your moment. Doesn't matter what the case is. Doesn't matter for how long. Doesn't matter what you've tried. God loves you. He loves you and wants you well. You know, if you're not well, how can you serve God? God made you for himself but if you're not well he wants you well and he wants you to live in his glory no matter what's been ailing you 
this is your moment in the of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I bring you healing right now I command the deafness to go Christ deaf ears open up beyond stopped in the name of Jesus Christ Dumbness to go and every dumb tongue to be loosed and stammering tongues to plainly command blindness to go in the name of Jesus thou blinding spirit come out of, of their eyes right now be gone from them just be healed be healed in your limbs that you can walk again be healed be healed in your bones of blood in the name of Jesus every blood condition I command it to be cleansed in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke the ulcer the ulcers go right now go cancer come out in Jesus mighty name out of their bodies come out pray on now the power of God is on children I command the demons to go name of every receive healing from blindness receive healing right now from every single condition of darkness children are being healed everywhere they're being healed everywhere by the power of the Holy Ghost children in hospitals are being healed children in homes are being healed in orphanages they're being healed the power of God is surging through the place in the name of Jesus Christ power of God the power of God the power of God the I see so many 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 women are being healed by the power of God God has mercy on you and on your family because taking care and now he brings you strength be healed in the name of Jesus Christ from you that tormenting spirit is gone from you in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke stroke I command it to go be healed of stroke in the name of Jesus Heart conditions are being healed everywhere. Heart conditions are being healed everywhere. Heart conditions are being healed everywhere. Christ, receive healing. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. As you receive your healing, thank God for it. God for it. Thank God for it. Thank God for healing you. Thank God for bringing hope back to your family. Strength to you again. In the name of Jesus, the weakness is gone. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to thank your school, in the hospital. It doesn't matter where you are. Start, start thanking God right now. Thank Him for healing you. Thank Him for healing your loved one. Thank Him for the miracle. 
Thank Him for what He's done for you. Thank Him right now. Thank God for what He's done for you. He's done it. 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 You are here. 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 Thank God for healing you. Thank God for healing you. We've got lots and lots of testimonies from around the world. Yes, sir. Now make sure you
some weeks Pastor, this is Franklin from United States. Yes. I suffer from Crohn's disease and blood clots Crohn's in disease. my head okay. for 15 years. Yeah. It says, God healed me and right yeah. now I'm a living testimony of God's healing power. Oh, that's wonderful. Pastor from China, China. Joe Chibi says he was diagnosed with cervical spondylosis for more than 20 years. What with severe means? pain and discomfort. All efforts to relieve him proved abortive, but now we received a wonderful miracle. The, the pain is completely gone for Praise the first God. time, 20 years. Praise God. Pastor, this is Denise Wilson from France. Um, in February 2020, 2020, she was diagnosed with diabetes and ever since had been on insulin injections and other medications to control her blood sugar. But he said, my set time came when the Healy streams started. So being healed since the start of the program, my blood glucose rate has been normal and I haven't taken any medication since Friday. Yes, my faith walked. Glory be to God. I'm free from diabetes. That's I am Gola. My leg was hot and I couldn't walk. After I participated tonight, in the healing program with the man of God, Pastor Chris, I received healing. Now my leg does in the heart and I feel relaxed. Praise God. Pastor, this is from Nauru. Yes. A 17-year-old boy had hearing problems and could not speak properly for 15 years. That As means he had this problem when he was two years old. Yes. Interesting. And now he's 17. Yes, sir. As Pastor prayed, his tongue was released and his hearing was unblocked. Glory to God. That's wonderful. Pastor from Qatar, Angela says her leg was broken and she needed crutches to move around. But in this healing service, she received her healing and is now walking free from the crutches. Praise God. Pastor, this is healing. Make sure to send us the videos. Pastor, we have lots of videos. Lots of videos. Yes. They're from this service. With an ulcer on the leg that dried up during this wonderful. yeah have it That's wonderful woman in pain in the ankle for a week she fell into a gutter and had difficulty walking since then the pain became unbearable as the days went by as pastor ministered he mentioned healing for the bones and she just burst out in thanksgiving to god now she's able to walk freely move and Amazing. twist that ankle easily Amazing. the pain is totally gone Praise from her god. and this is from united states sir yes a lady who has been feeling severe pains in her knee for about three months. She couldn't stretch backwards completely, but during the prayers, during the prayers, she said, now she can touch every part. She can touch down. She can bend to whatever extent she wants to. The pain has left her. Wonderful. She's completely healed. Pastor from, from Canada, Judith says she had a growth on her neck for three years. A painful growth on her neck. But as you were praying, she received her healing and she's completely free right Praise now. God. That's another testimony from Canada. I was bound for two years. For the first time in two years, she got up and is walking free without That's aid. That's wonderful. Pastor, this, this, is, is, bound to a this is from Mauritania. Yes. 12-year-old Roots had been using glasses since she was a baby because of eye problems. Couldn't see without the glasses and could not read either tonight she's healed and can read without the glasses that's seeing clearly and from finland i received instant healing from the pain in my shoulder wrist and leg pain i am completely healed praise god pastor wonderful. from madagascar a four-year-old girl in the healing center who couldn't walk or talk from birth she just started walking and talking. Glory to God. She's healed. <laughs> Praise God. Pastor Chidi from Nigeria. Yeah. I want to. My